Hey Marcus, are you still doing your little rap show? Uh, yeah, welcome to another episode yep. of your little rap show. Chia. You know, I'm your host, Av Campbell. This is Buck the World. I'm just going to do your thing. Nah, uh, nah, that's cool. Yeah, so welcome to another episode of your little rap show. This Facts. week, we got a special question from a special listener. Uh, so this week's question is, as an artist, mm. how do you feel about uh, doing music showcases where you have to pay to perform? <laughs> um... I guess, like in a way, that's you could even look at it like a rite of passage to a certain extent. Mm. Like I feel like everybody's done at least like one. If you're starting like taking music seriously, I feel mm. like you. That's one of the first steps you take when you try to take music seriously. Is like you go do like a showcase or some shit. I mean, I've done coast to coast, so you mm. know, um, I've been there. Uh, how do I feel about it? Oh, um, you know, after you do one, I feel like you learn. Like uh, this isn't really like beneficial mm. to me this is mm. really me like putting my sweat blood and tears into this shit and someone else like reaping all the benefits for me to get what a two minute set with mm. 40 people on the mm -hmm. on the set list so um and then you know more times than not they're kind of organized poorly you might find one that's organized well but for the most time they're organized poorly mm -hmm. uh, people only come to see the people they came to support so mm -hmm. it's not like you're gaining fans really or nothing like that mm. um you might be able to network and stuff but Overall, I feel like uh, it's it's like exploiting, you know, hip hop artists, up and coming hip hop artists in a way. Yeah. Mm. Sucks. It really does. But I feel like, you know, you go through it, especially in New York City. Like you're going to do one um, unless you have somebody who like kind of did it before and could put you on before mm. you jump out the window. But I feel like most artists in New York City, like they did a showcase before or they might still be doing showcases, which is crazy, <laughs> 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 which is crazy to think about. Like. No, for real. Now, I agree with every point you made. It definitely is a rite of passage in New York City, especially since New York City is super heavy in the uh, pay-to-play yes. format of yes. things, whereas you have to pay if you want to perform, especially as a hip-hop artist. Um, I hate all of them. I've done, <laughs> I've done, a, I've done a few of them. I did, mm -hmm. I've done uh, Major Stage. Yeah. Like, it was like eight years ago now. I've done Major Stage a couple times. Um the concept don't make no sense. And, you know, what they do is they, they weaponize the word opportunity. Yeah. And that's the shit because anytime, like, somebody's going after their dreams, it's all about seizing an opportunity. But everything that's presented to you is technically an opportunity, but that doesn't mean it's, like, a viable opportunity. It's yes. a necessary thing you got to jump on. So they always pump, you know... Oh, you got to take these opportunities. This, uh, this, which, this, the next step. If you're a serious mm -hmm, artist, mm -hmm. are you taking this seriously? If you're not taking this seriously, don't inquire about what's going on. Yeah. So they fake gaslighting you in the thing, and you yeah. have to do it yeah. as somebody who's trying to take this shit seriously. And they really, they really don't have much to offer. I think a lot of these niggas and organizations they hang their hat on the fact that they're throwing these showcases where 35, 40 niggas is performing at a time. So just playing the odds. If you doing 40, if every show you got 40 artists coming in and you doing like three shows a week, I'm not going to do the math, but that's a hell of a lot of artists that you didn't seen in a year, even with some people doing multiple shows. Not true. So when somebody makes it, the first thing they do is like, oh, you know, like, oh, Dave East did our thing. Oh, we had designer before he blew up. Y'all didn't make these niggas blow up by offering them four and a half minutes and rushing them off the stage. Like, Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't make it seem like, oh, because they performed at so-and-so showcase right that oh they're where they're at now or they're blowing up and taking off that's right. not necessarily the case they just so happen to run the gauntlet like everybody yeah, else in new york city and you know i get like uh i would say i would say with major stage they don't they don't be ODing. like when they have a show it'll probably be like 10 motherfuckers okay that's other, decent you know like other shits is like oh it's 40 motherfuckers up here. Yeah, like, Coast to Coast had like 40 niggas. Yeah, like. Coast to Coast got... <laughs> they don't even got to book you if you show up. <laughs> if you show up with $200, they got you. And that's the that's the craziest part, too, is that it's really, like you were saying, like, it's really nothing viable in it for an artist because to perform and we gaslight you into this whole process and then the next step is, yo, you got to sell... I don't know what inflation did, but before I know it was 20 tickets, $20 yep. a piece. Yep. So that means, yo, if you want to perform for five minutes here, you got to give us $400. So now we got $400. 
times, 40 motherfuckers coming to the stage. It's a good night. We cleaned up. Yeah, we raking up. We didn't make our money back plus plus way more than that. And I've seen firsthand you on stage performing, the host coming out. Yo, give it up for so and so. I actually still have thirty seconds. Mm-hmm. But y'all y'all so hard with the five minutes because y'all done packed this show full of random niggas. Then y'all telling me, yo, there's a Sony A and R here. Yo, we got execs. Oh. We got execs in the building. You never see these niggas, nigga. And like I get it. If I was an exec, I wouldn't want y'all to tell niggas I'm here. But even at the end of the night. It ain't like the exec come on stage. They'd be or, like, yo, I like the talent I saw tonight. I, I never heard a nigga say he performed at one of these and like a couple execs came up to him and asked him questions and shit. Mm-hmm. It was like... It, uh, that should be the gas, bro. Half of these niggas probably don't even be executives. They probably work there. Yeah, but I get niggas coffee. Like You feel me? They don't even be doing that. It just be niggas that's like, oh, I know somebody that work at this label. Right. And if I bring them an artist, I might get a finder's fee. Might. 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 Wow. And they got to like be an artist that blows up and be successful and shit like that. I'm glad you brought that up about the whole executive like thing because that's a big like mm-hmm. draw for people to mm-hmm. come in. Oh, we got Sony executives here. Oh, we got mm-hmm. um, executives from Universal mm-hmm. in the crowd. Da, da, da. They're going to be looking and talking to people mm-hmm. after, you know, the shows and shit. And then fuck around. You get the conversation. If you get a conversation and it'd be like, yo, yeah, nah, I heard your shit. It was dope. Keep doing your thing. Keep doing your thing. Um, you know, keep performing. Mm-hmm. Keep your head up. Don't give up. And that's I, I would say with the paid showcases thing, uh, depending on what you want and depending on what it is, you should do it. Mm-hmm. Like I know we got hit up about performing at an event in uh Miami for Art Basel, where it's like, okay, it's Art Basel. At least I know it's gonna be people looking for right. Work these kind of things Change going of on setting. there you feel me then it's like okay you actually have actual headliners on the show so now it's like okay oh i can perform and like network with niggas who actually have large followings and things like that where that makes sense but right. i'm not about to pay four hundred dollars to perform with every nigga that live in every building on my block yeah simultaneously that's at a venue i can come to on wednesday yeah. you know any other wednesday and, and yeah get drinks and shit and I feel like that's just part of like I feel like you got to do that early on because it's part of the growing pains, mm-hmm. and then you get your you get the experience. Yeah, and you get your like kind of like hustler mentality. You should get your hustler mentality where it's like okay, if niggas made four hundred dollars off of me to perform here, how much money did they make? Oh, let me throw a show, but also in that throw a show and break the cycle. Like a lot of niggas yeah. are in this space because. <clears throat> They seen somebody else doing this and was like, oh, I can do this and make this much money off of niggas. Banking on people wanting to invest in their like hopes and dreams. Mm-hmm. Um, Very predatory, man. Super, super and, duper, and, duper and, predatory. And, you know, I say this all the time, but hip hop especially is hella predatory. Like mm-hmm. it's in New York in these large markets, I'm sure it's the same in LA and shit, maybe Chicago, but it's like, oh, in New York. Hella predatory, man. Like, I don't know if they're doing that at the rock shows. I don't know mm. if they're doing it at the country shows. But I know in hip hop, you know, and R&B and shit is hella predatory, man. Oh, you got to pay. Where's your money at? You want to get on the stage? You're getting booked, bro. Yeah. You, you send music in. You audition. You you get booked. You perform. It's really just only hip hop. They really bro. found a way to just constantly rape this market right here. And we be letting them. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, uh, you know, you can get into it with the mindset of of business approach where niggas be like nah it's just business i gotta get it i gotta grind uh, mm-hmm. nah, until i die and it's like in a certain aspect yeah you do you gotta have that uh that mentality mm-hmm. and drive but at the same time when the environment is toxic as mm-hmm. fuck it's just like oh that that's not gonna change anything and then people go and wind up doing it themselves mm-hmm. on some revenge shit like oh niggas got that much money off of me i'm about to throw my own show and get all of this that not necessarily thinking of oh opening up a fair mm-hmm. platform mm-hmm. but just like oh i'm about to make my money back like and try to cake up too Definitely. I also want to highlight the the difference between showcases and open mics. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you might go to an open mic in the city or anywhere and you're charged, but it's a different thing. It's like you're not required to sell tickets. Right. And backtracking to that real fast, even with the selling tickets thing, you're thinking you're going to be performing for a sold out show. It's technically sold out because we sold more tickets than the actual capacity. Mm-hmm. The crowd is not there to see you perform. A lot of times these showcases are during the week. So the people you know, especially starting out in your career, is like friends and family members who are just trying to support you. Everybody can't make it there after work. 
Right. You still got to, you're still responsible for those 20 ticket sales. So most times, oh, you're fronting the money or you got people who are going to buy the tickets, who, but can't necessarily make it. But now if you're performer number 27 out of 40, oh, the 26 people and like they're 10 to 20 people that actually showed up each. Oh, they're leaving as those people perform. So mm -hmm. by the time you're performing, you're performing for like the people you brought. But now it's late and they still got to go to work on Thursday. So they leaving. So but to the open mic thing, uh, people are charging 10, 20, 30 dollars. And it's like, OK, cool. This is admittance into this event and you can sign up to perform here. Right. That's cool because everybody's paying to get in. Everybody's doing that. You're not required to sell tickets. It's not presented to you as an opportunity you have to take it's more so like oh this is a thing we're doing if you would like to participate mm -hmm. here's how to participate yeah and then it's up to you and, and i feel like it's you get way more benefits from an open mic platform than right. a showcase platform because i just feel like the mentality is different the the energy is different people are more willing to network and, mm -hmm. and socialize at an open mic as opposed to a showcase where it's like oh i just came i got my people's here yes yeah, i feel like open mic especially the consistent ones have more of a like a culture and like community mm -hmm. aspect to them so mm -hmm. each one is different and has its own different like energy and vibe so when you constantly go back yeah, you run the risk of like no longer attracting new people, but you're also like cultivating a base of people who you could like travel with to go do other events and things like that. Which is important. As opposed to the showcase where it's more so like, oh, everybody's showing up to try to look like the man. Yeah. And it don't make that much, especially it, it don't make sense. Especially I hate when I see the like the hood nigga rappers that pull up to the fucking showcase at SOBs <laughs> ran by a little Don to Don. Yeah. And you feel me? And these niggas got on like, you know, they trying to look like they got on like fifty thousand dollars worth of jewelry. They got twenty niggas on the stage with them. It's like, yo, if you if you got that much money, why are you not throwing your own show at SOBs as opposed to sitting here paying Fu Quan yeah. a band to get niggas in and y'all mad y'all can't smoke. And it's like Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the music's probably not all that good. Shit, so don't be mixed. That that too. Pay your performance with engineers. your with your lyrics on the track. So we well. don't even know what the fuck you're saying. Yeah. It is a horrible experience. But yeah, man. Um, it is overall, it's a rite of passage. If you mm -hmm. if you're an upcoming artist in New York, um, I feel like anywhere, honestly, um, yeah. it's pretty much gonna be the same shit. You're gonna have to do that at least once, or maybe even twice, unfortunately. But you know, mm -hmm. hopefully you get it out early in your music career so mm -hmm. you can get that experience, that knowledge, and know what to do and what not to do, what to look for, what not to look for. Mm -hmm. And hopefully you do the ones that are actually going to benefit you and yeah. not just don't let niggas hit you with these buzzwords like opportunity and chance yeah. and investing in yourself. Bro. Facts. I seen you on Instagram, man. Your shit is dope. Yo, I got an opportunity for you. Yeah. You know, be cautious. You know, moving forward. But yeah. And that's it, man. That's your little showcase. Yep. 